Okay. My name is Shonda Feather, and that's Sam Henry Ocean, Nora David Adam. Sorry, phonetics. <laughs> S-H-O-N-D-A. Feather is my last name. F-E-A-T-H-E-R. It was 1992, and I was working at Hollywood Video, and that was the summer that every sequel known to man was coming out. It was Aliens, Terminator, Lethal Weapon. They were all coming out that summer. I was closing that night, and I walked up to the counter, and as I was walking up, I saw this guy, but I really only saw, like, shoulders up. So I kind of snuck around to the kids' section and to get a, a better view of what was going on and saw that he was on his knees, and he had a cast on each leg. He was looking for a lethal weapon one and two because number three was coming out in the theater that year. And I knew that we didn't have it. He then <laughs> started to crawl back out, the, said thank you, started to crawl back out the door, would not let me hold the door for him. About a couple minutes later, I heard a honk and I went back out and he was just like, I am so bored, as you can tell. I'm all casted up. I don't know what you can do. I'm, I'm just bored. I need a movie. So I was like, give me your Cub Food card. It was Cub Food at the time before it was Winco. And I said, I'm going to go over and get this movie for you because there's no way you are going to be crawling halfway through their store. Um, but he started to look through his wallet. And as he did that, I saw something shiny. And I said, what, what is that? And he said, kind of shyly and secretly, he's like, that's my badge. And I'm like, are you a police officer? And he's like, yeah. Um, he said, I just retired, medically retired. And I said, is that your leg issue? And he's like, no, 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 completely different. I was like, okay. And at the time, I was in college studying criminal justice. So we kind of had a connection there. And it was about another few months that I heard back from him. And he had come in and left a rose for me and said, thank you for your help, Steve. But it took him probably a few months before we actually first went out for that first cup of coffee. And uh, we eventually did. And that's where the story took off. He would always write me notes and put them in my lunch boxes. And, and he was just that type of guy. He always told me that he was so lucky to have me as his wife. And we spent a wonderful 25 years together. Um, we uh, were, you know, just a couple that was so in love. And uh, he ended up getting brain cancer and I lost him in, on January 5th of 2017. He was just the best person that I knew. Um, he was my best friend. He always told me he didn't need Valentine's Day to tell me how much he loved me. And um, he told me that every day. It, it's still a struggle, I would say, to, to wake up every day. But, but I do, and I just look forward to, to making him proud every day for everything that I do.